So in this lesson, we're going to be going over Marlin's GeoTagger software. And this is the software that we've developed to apply GeoTags to the images that you've captured in a survey. Now it's really simple software. Essentially all you need to do is select the folders that four different data streams are in, and then press GeoTag, and the software does the rest of the work. But I'll be giving you a little bit of a run through to show you how it's done. So the four different data streams that you'll need are firstly the images, which you've captured during your survey. Next is the rover logs, which is essentially the data from the PPK module on the aircraft. The autopilot logs from the aircraft's autopilot. You choose the output directory where you want all your data to go. And then your base station. Now you have four different options here. Firstly, to use a core station. Secondly, to use your own base station. Thirdly, to process the rover logs without a base station at all. Or lastly, if you don't have the PPK option, you can also process without any sort of PPK processing. Now it's worth noting for that for these last two options, it's not going to be possible to get down to centimeter accuracy. When you're processing without a base station, without PPK, the most you can expect is around two meters of accuracy. Next, you just need to select the Rhinex files that have come from either your cores or your physical base station. And then lastly, you just select how you want your data to be presented. You can either choose to have the geotags uploaded to the EXIF data of each image, or you can choose to have all of the image geotags presented in a CSV file, which can be read by PIX4D or whichever post-processing photogrammetry software you happen to be using. It's worth noting that that first option, uploading to the EXIF data, does take a lot more time because it's having to access the data of each image, so it's good to keep in mind. And when you upload some data into here, you'll see it comes up in the map on the right hand side. But let's go ahead and upload some data now. We'll select some images from the relevant flight. You can see it gives us feedback on the amount of images we've seen and also the type of camera. Next, we'll select the PPK rover log from the relevant flight. You can see that also gives us an amount of trigger events that it's found and also uh, feedback on where those are in space. So you can look and see if they correlate and also that you have a good amount of trigger events in the amount that you would expect. Next, we can select our autopilot log. Again, the one that's relevant to the flight. It'll end with dot bin. And again, you can see an overlay on this map here. And you can use this to check that you have the correct autopilot file and also that there are no holes in the, either the PPK or the autopilot data. Next, we are gonna choose our Rhinex data from the physical base station that we had on site. Use all three of those GNO files. And you'll also see an overlay on the map as to the location of the base station. And this is again for cross-checking that coordinate systems are all correct. Now, it's also worth noting that the coordinate system of the output data is going to be in the same coordinate system as the location of the base station. So the PPK data from the rover on the aircraft is collecting information in WGS84. But say the base station location is measured in ETRS89, then the geotags in the CSV file or in the EXIF data is going to be in ETRS89. And so it's really worth noting that for when you are in the next step in PIX4D or whichever photogrammetry software that you're using, exactly what coordinate system that you're working with. So lastly, we're just gonna choose our output directory and then press geotag. And at that point, the software is gonna compare those four streams of data and it's going to apply a correction to the geotags which have been originally generated from the PPK rover log on the aircraft. It doesn't take too long and then you get this pop-up box which says process and complete, it tells you the number of images and trigger events which have been used, and also the fixed quality of your data as well. It's good to check that just to make sure you have proper data and that it's all been generated correctly. And then finally, your geotagging is done. You can then move on to your post-processing software, uh, 
like Pix4D or any other photogrammetry software and make your point clouds and author photos and other surveying outputs.